فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير When you read your salah take your time Take your time. I promise you, you are packaging your deed in the best possible package. Best possible package. You know, when you order a burger from somewhere, I can give you these food examples because we are not yet in Ramadan, right? When you order a burger from somewhere, what is the main thing in the burger? Is it not the patty in the middle? Is it, you know, they say beef burger. So there's a beef patty. They say chicken burger. So there's a chicken patty, mutton. There's a mutton patty inside, right? Sometimes it's grilled. Sometimes it's not grilled. Sometimes it's made by perhaps mincing it, processed. And sometimes it's not. It's just sliced, a beautiful slice of steak in there. So that's the main thing in the burger. Everything else is by the way. By the way. But how they prepare it for you, they put, they get some nice fresh buns, bread. And then they slice it. They toast a little bit on the side so to avoid the crumbs and so on. They will put tomato sauce for those who like it. They will add mayonnaise. They put a bit of sauce. They add you the barbecue sauce. They put a lovely piece of lettuce, nice crunchy. They put a little, a few cucumbers. They put a, a nice piece of tomato. Some who like onions, they'll give you a beautiful slice of onion in there. They will add something else, a little bit of coleslaw. And they serve it to you while it looks so beautiful with a bit of nice deep fried chips on the side. Subhanallah. Why? The aim was just the patty. Have they ever taken the patty and thrown it at you? You want a burger? Yeah. They've never done it. They present it properly because for you to look at it, you must want to eat it when you look at it. You see, they show you pictures of the food in the restaurants because when you look at it, they, they want you to be attracted to it. Your brain processes the food before your stomach does. Do you know that? So they present it. Wallahi, I'm drawing a different example. When you give an ibadah to Allah, pack it properly. Allah wants the farad from you. Correct. I start off with the sunnah. I have a nafil. I take my time. All that is beautification. All that is beautification. If you are just going to rush through your salah, trust me, it's like throwing that patty to someone and say, have your burger. Allah doesn't want it. You need it. Take your time in salah. Take your time. When you say Allahu Akbar, beautify it. Honestly, read something good. People just read Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. One time and they're up. They go to the ground before the nose is on the ground, the whole head is already up. Don't do that. Take your time. My brothers and sisters, this is your akhirah. This is your jannah. This is how you will earn it. Go to sujood. Subhana rabbi al-a'la. Beautifully, three times minimum. And then increase it to five. What's wrong? Is it wrong to increase it to five? No. It's better. I love Allah so much. Spend a few more minutes with Him. I always give an example of a haram relationship. You have someone you're not supposed to be talking to of the opposite sex. But you love to talk to them. If they want to put the phone down, no, 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 hang on, two more minutes. Why? It's haram. Shaitan is beautifying it. A haram relation, you, you know, you are prodded on to spend more time with someone haram. But Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal, you cannot spend two more minutes with him. 